we must begin by recognizing the problems with our immigration system. For decades, the United States has not been in complete control of its borders. As a result, many who want to work in our economy have been able to sneak across our border, and millions have stayed. Once here, illegal immigrants live in the shadows of our society. Many use forged documents to get jobs, and that makes it difficult for employers to verify that the workers they hire are legal. Illegal immigration puts pressure on public schools and hospitals. It strains state and local budgets and brings crime to our communities. These are real problems. Yet we must remember that the vast majority of illegal immigrants are decent people who work hard, support their families, practice their faith, and lead responsible lives. They are a part of American life, but they are beyond the reach and protection of American law. We're a nation of laws, and we must enforce our laws. We're also a nation of immigrants. And we must uphold that tradition which has strengthened our country in so many ways. These are not contradictory goals. America can be a lawful society and a welcoming society at the same time. We will fix the problems created by illegal immigration. And we will deliver a system that is secure, orderly, and fair. Despite all the bonds and the values that we share, despite all the people who claim heritage on both sides. Our attitudes sometimes are trapped in old stereotypes. You know, some Americans only see the Mexico that is depicted in sensational headlines of violence and, and border crossings. And, and let's admit it, some Mexicans think that America disrespects Mexico or thinks that America is trying to impose itself on Mexican sovereignty or just wants to wall ourselves off. And in both countries, such distortions create misunderstandings that make it harder for us to move forward together. So I've come to Mexico because I think it's time for us to put the old mindsets aside. It's time to recognize new realities, including the impressive progress of today's Mexico. Tonight, I am speaking to you because there is a growing humanitarian and security crisis at our southern border. Every day, Customs and Border Patrol agents encounter thousands of illegal immigrants trying to enter our country. We are out of space to hold them, and we have no way to promptly return them back home to their country. America proudly welcomes millions of lawful immigrants who enrich our society and contribute to our nation. But all Americans are hurt by uncontrolled, illegal migration. It strains public resources and drives down jobs and wages. Among those hardest hit are African Americans and Hispanic Americans. We had to convince people that they have power. They have power. And of course, when you say to a farm worker who doesn't speak the English language, doesn't have formal education, doesn't have any assets, doesn't have any money, that he or she has power, they say, what kind of power do I have? And so what we had to convince the workers is, you do have power, but that power is in your person. That power is in your person. And when you come together with other workers, other people, and they also understand that they have power. This is the way the changes are made. But you can't do it by yourself. You've got to do it with other people. You've got to work together to make it happen. And of course, following Gandhi and Dr. King, and this, you have to change things through nonviolence. Because when we use nonviolence as our philosophy of organizing and of the actions that we take, then other people will come forward to help us. We were in Manhattan. And this farm worker called me. I'm in the office there in New York City. And he calls me and he says, Senora, Senora Huerta. And he says this in Spanish. They took the grapes off the store. And so I told him, well, what's the name of the store? And he said, I don't know. 
I said, well, look at the sign and you can see what the name of the store is. And he said, Senora, I don't know how to read. I don't know how to read. This farmer had gone from Delano, California, all the way to New York City, standing in front of a store asking people, don't come into the store because they're selling grapes. And he got that store to take the grapes off. And it was farm workers like this farm worker that went all over and eventually something like 14 million Americans stopped eating grapes and got the growers to sit down and negotiate. And this made such a difference because because of these workers that understood their power, then we were able to get those growers to give contracts with a medical plan, with a pension plan. Workers could negotiate better wages, getting them rest periods, all of these things that the workers didn't have. That struggle, of course, is not finished even though the United Farm Workers now is celebrating its 50 years of organizing. We still have farm workers all over the country that still have not won the protections that farm workers in California have, like unemployment insurance, et cetera. So it's still an ongoing struggle. But the thing that we have to remember is that change comes from the bottom, okay? All of the changes that have been made, whether it's the civil rights movement, the peace movement, the women's movement, the LGBT movement, the immigrants' rights movement, the Dreamers have just shown this recently with all of the organizing they have done, that we can make the change, but it's got to start with us. The one thing that we have to always tell people is nobody is going to do this for us. We have to do it for ourselves. Nobody is going to solve our problems. And the one thing, the one thing that we know is that the people who are suffering the problems are the ones that have the solutions. The people that are going through the suffering and the discrimination, they are the ones that have the answers to how we solve the problems. So the only thing that we need then are the resources, the resources for organizing so that we can share our stories, so that we can show people how to organize. This is what my foundation does.
Thank you.